video we will learn how to derive a demand function from the given utility function the question is given utility function of a consumer is u is equal to under root x plus under root y x and y are the two goods and u denotes the utility deriving from these two goods and the budget constraint for this consumer is price of x times units of good x plus price of y times units of y should be equal to the total uh, you know income of the consumer we need to derive the demand function for good x and good y okay now what we need to do here uh, given this utility function and let me draw the graph okay to make sense here let us say we have uh, you know good x on the horizontal axis and good y on the vertical axis with this budget line if i draw this budget line on this graph okay so if i draw this budget line here uh, with the given budget the consumer wants to reach to the highest possible utility okay so let us say this is indifference curve first let us say this in this in this uh, what we call the indifference curve second okay with the given budget uh, you know consumer wants to reach to the highest possible utility function that means he wants to maximize his satisfaction with the given budget and that means we have a problem of maximization that is we want to maximize the utility of the consumer which is being given as is under root x upon uh, sorry under root x in place of under root x i can write x raised power 1 upon 2 uh, plus under root y in place of this i can write y raised power 1 upon 2 okay consumer wants to you know maximize this as uh, satisfaction or utility given the budget constraint that he is facing that such, such that and let me write it here price of x times units of good x plus price of y times of uh, units of good y should be equal to the total income of the consumer with this budget consumer wants to maximize his satisfaction and for that we have the first order condition for maximization or optimization requires that is first order condition for optimization requires that the consumer or in this case uh, we also call this the tangency condition and a tangency condition what exactly happens the marginal rate of substitution between two goods x and y should be equal to the ratio of the prices that is price of x upon price of y this mrs and this is being satisfied at a point where the indifference curve and budget line are tangent to each other so this point is actually a point where mrs is equal to the ratio of the prices price of x upon price of y basically at this point what exactly is happening the slope of and let me write it here that means slope of slope of indifference curve is equal to the slope of budget line okay so this is a point where the slope of both the curves are equal now what is mrs mrs is simply mrs between good x and y is simply the ratio of the marginal utility of good x upon marginal utility of uh, good y okay now what is marginal utility of good x let us calculate it here marginal utility of good x is nothing but the partial derivative of the given utility function with respect to good x okay so given this utility function marginal utility of good x means we partially differentiate this utility function with respect to x okay so we have x raised power 1 upon 2 its derivative with respect to x will be 1 upon 2 which is the exponent it will become coefficient here 1 upon 2 then we have x uh, 1 upon 2 minus 1 okay and the derivative of a constant will be 0 because we are taking the partials with respect to x here okay so what will we get we will get 1 upon 2 x raised power minus 1 upon 2 and when we further solve this 
it will become 1 upon 2 transposing this to denominator it will become x raised power plus 1 upon 2 okay when we change numerator to denominator or vice versa the exponent sign changes okay so this is the marginal utility of good x this very stuff symmetrically we need to find out the marginal utility of good y and what will be there marginal utility of good y will be the partial derivative of utility function with respect to good y this time okay so uh, similarly likewise differentiating partially this function with respect to y since x is here its derivative is zero we are taking the partials with respect to y it is assumed to be constant here the derivative of y raised power 1 upon 2 will be 1 upon 2 y raised power minus 1 upon 2 by power function rule if we have x raised power n its derivative is n x raised power n minus 1 n becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 okay so further solving this that implies marginal utility of good y will be equal to 1 upon 2 y raised power 1 upon 2 okay so we are done with the marginal utilities of both the goods now using this condition that is mr uh, mrs uh, is equal to marginal utility of good x upon marginal utility of good y and it should be equal to price of x upon price of y okay using this condition now so we have to equate these two ratios so mux we got mux we got is 1 upon 2 x raised power 1 upon 2 and marginal utility of good y we got as 1 upon 2 y raised power 1 upon 2 and it should be equal to the ratio of the prices that is price of x upon price of y which implies uh, we can rewrite it as 1 upon uh, 2 x raised power 1 upon 2 transposing this to denominator numerator it will get reciprocated and multiplied it will become twice y raised power 1 upon 2 upon 1 and it should be equal to price of x upon price of y okay now here 2 and 2 gets cancelled we are left with y raised power 1 upon 2 divided by x raised power 1 upon 2 it should be equal to price of x upon price of y which we can rewrite as y upon x whole raised power 1 upon 2 is equal to price of x upon price of y further solving this transposing this you know exponent here it will b exponent here but in a reciprocal uh, resp uh, reciprocal manner that implies one sorry y upon x will be equal to uh, price of x upon price of y square here okay again solving this so it will become y will be equal to price of x square upon price of y square transposing this it will get multiplied this is equal it will be multiplied with this price of x upon price of y square okay now what we need to do we simply plug this value of y into the budget constraint okay in place of here we plug the value so what will happen here and let me rub this out to make space available so we have price of x price of x times units of x plus price of y and in place of y we have price of x square upon price of y square should be equal rather times x should be equal to m okay here py and 1 py will get cancelled and if we take x common here what we are left with we are left with price of x plus price of x square uh, upon price of y is equal to m okay solving for x which implies which implies x will be equal to um, m upon m upon transposing this it will become price of x plus price of x square upon price of y okay this is the demand function for good x okay this denotes the demand function of good x and here you can see 
डिमांड फंक्शन डिमांड फॉर गुड एक्स इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ इनकम एंड प्राइस हेयर नाउ टू फाइंड आउट द डिमांड फंक्शन फॉर गुड वाई वट विल वी डू वी सिंपली प्लग दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस स्टफ इन दिस इक्वेशन ओके वेर वी सॉल्व दिस फॉर वाई सो आवर वाई विल बी इक्वल टू एंड लेट्स राइट इट हेयर सो y will be equal to price of x square upon price of y square times the value of this m and the value of x is m upon price of x plus price of x square upon price of y okay now here we can rewrite this as if i write it in this fashion price of x square upon price of y square uh, times m uh, let's take px here common so if we take px common we are left with 1 plus px upon py okay now here 1 px will get cancelled we will be left with so uh, it will be equal to m time is price of x i hope i am doing this calculation right here price of py square time is 1 plus price of x upon price of y this will be demand function of good y okay uh, i hope i have done the calculation right here thank you